Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Coromon. That's right. We're going to be playing a little bit more because I just, I really wanted to. I, I just, I was thinking about what I wanted to record this morning. I wanted to make sure I, I played a little bit more of this. There's only so much of it left because we are playing the demo. Uh, so I don't know if there's even going to be that much. We might run out of all of our Coromon because we are playing the ultra hardcore mode. If any of these faint, we don't get to use them anymore. We get to capture, we get one chance to capture per zone. And if they faint, we do not get to use them anymore. It is a, uh, it's a pretty brutal rule set. So we'll have to see how it goes here today, but we're gonna, we're just gonna play around with it a little bit more. What's, uh, what's going on in here? I don't think I, helping at the trainer hub is great. I get to see all kinds of Coromon, okay. I don't even know what the heck is going on over here. What is this? Oh, hello. Okay, can I fight you? These Coromon look happy walking around freely in the field. I would have never dared to put them in spinners. I mean, how would they even fit? Well then, okay. I would not dream of it. They wouldn't even fit. But alas, if you missed the first video in the Let's Try series... I will, uh, I will probably rebrand it into a part one of a series thing to make it clear. Hello there, mister. Did we need to talk to you? I need to focus on this delicate work. Why don't you go learn a thing or two over at the library? That's right. Okay. That's right. I, I forgot where we were at in the end of the last episode. So there we go. We got to go over to the library. We got to get... Uh, I think we're going to get the ability to probably like cut down stuff, I would imagine. Oh my god. What? If, don't tell me we have to read all of this. Hello. Studying so hard, I can join Lux Souls to become a strong trainer, but the books Marin gave me were too complex for me. Looking for a specific beginner's handbook now. I heard Cormon Basics is somewhere in the library as well, but I cannot find it. Stinky scent. History of time? Nah, it's not. I I am not the kind of guy who's gonna click all of the what? Click all of those. Hey, why do you carry a book on your head? What do you mean? I'm only the smartest person in town is allowed to wear this awesome hat. I see you glancing at it. Do you think you should be the one to wear it? I think it would look good on me. Well, you'd have to defeat me first, but that'll be impossible because I'm the smartest person around. I'll show you by challenging you to a battle. Cormon battle in a library. Oh, not that kind of battle. We'll find out who is the most knowledgeable. What do you say? Oh, God. Neat. I'll put you to the test. I'll see if you know more than I do. Here we go. Sand is very effective against... I don't freaking know, man. I would assume fire. What? Sand is uh, sand is not a super fact. Well, okay, fine. Bring it on. We should probably read the books first, but still. Ghost. Oh wait. Oh, I thought we were gonna just get the same thing. Ghost is very effective against. I don't know. For if, if it's Pokemon, it's Ghost. Yeah. How many Cormon species are currently known to exist? I'm gonna assume it's not 150. I feel like that'd be too on the nose. Damage dealt is always determined by the attack set. No, it could be determined by the special attack. Uh, what? A Wait, there are types which can be found only on skills. That is true. We learned that as of last time. Uh, speed stat determines its crit chance. No, it should be who goes first. How many potential? At what? How many potential value variations are there? There's three. The common, then there's like the stronger, and then there's the shiny. What? You gotta be. Come on, man. I. Ma oh, magic is effective against. Is it psychic? So it's ghost? Yep. How many types are there? There's not very many. There's like six. Get off it. Get off it. Wait, oh, is it including the it's including the move ones? Do we have to beat that guy to uh to progress with the story? Because I don't want to read. I don't want to read. History section, my favorite. Alright, what do we got? Is this just gonna take us up to the same spot? No. Oh hi there. Uh hello there. <laughs> oh, uh, did you want something? Perrin told me I could find some books for beginning trainers here. Do you know where I could find them? Ah, uh, my brother Perrin, huh? Marin and Perrin? If he doesn't understand the power of my knowledge, he mocks me for reading all these books. He says I should contribute to the town. Instead, he's working on his anvil all day. Now, what does that do? In reality, the pen is mightier than the sword, right? I guess so. Ah, uh, fellow book lover! Seems I misjudged you. Here, let me help you get some books. For beginner trainer, you said I know just the ones. Yes, this one. 
Please, no, I don't want to read. Ah! One more over here. Cordon Basics. No, this book is too basic. It could be handy for someone, perhaps. Someone else, perhaps. Oh, here's the last one. So we have that, uh, that person down there who wants that one. If you read all these, you'll know everything a beginner trainer should know. Perhaps you'll even be able to pass Jebediah's quiz. He likes to think he's the smartest. So he challenges others to a battle of wits. Often hangs around the reading room. Oh, well, here you go. Coromon handbook. Potential handbook. Stats handbook. A lot of reading material. I'll keep an eye out for other books that might be useful, and then I'll send you a message to let you know. Bye for now. So do we need to come over here and pick this up? Yeah. All right. So we'll go down and we'll give that to the other uh, the other individual who was looking for that. Maybe we'll get something cool. Buff ourselves up. Who freaking knows? You! What are you going to give me? Start sending right away. Take this as a reward. It might be a while before I could use it anyways. Oaky fruit. Dip fruit. Okay. I have no idea what the heck those do. Let's take a, take a peek here. Removes the poison immediately when getting poisoned. Increase the attack of Koromon when in danger. Increase the defense of Koromon when in danger. Let's uh, do that for now. We'll give that to Brad more than more than uh, and then we get uh, that to just just Tom. All right, we'll go we'll go with that for now. That's probably gonna be a good thing. If we're playing on a Nuzlocke where like death matters, we we're, we're probably gonna have to care about this stuff. All right, uh, we have the milestones as well. We care about stats. So where, wait, where are the books? Database. Potent, perfect. Oh man. Nibble, nibblegar. Let's try this one more. One more time here. Cut is very effective against... Wasn't it? It was something weird. It was like, uh... Electric? Like it's cutting a wire or something, I guess? There are types which can only be found on skills. That is true. Dam damage dealt is not always by the attack stat. Trainer challenges you to a battle, you... What? Except? Koromon of different potential appear differ in appearance only. False. They also have different stat points. Speed stat does not... Yep. Sand is very effective against... Oh, it's probably electric then. It would make sense against fire, though. How many types are there? It's not six. It sucks. Seven? Oh! How many are there? The, let's see here. The wiki says seven! You lie! There are seven elemental types. In addition, there are... Oh, there are also... Oh my god. Final time! Get out of here! Shut up, Jebediah. How many potential value variations are there? So I give up. I don't care about this. This is stupid. <laughs> I don't want to learn. I don't want to learn that stuff. If they do, if they make me do a forced quiz like that, like, should I care? Yes. Do I care? No. We're probably good to pick up the uh, the stuff from here now. I would imagine from the uh, anvil, anvilman. Hello. Yeah, he's done working. Good. We don't have to learn. Thank God. Reading is hard. There you are! I just finished your gauntlet. The essence collector is installed and ready to go. I'll take back the spare gauntlet first. Install another module as well for you. The push module, consider it a gift from a friend. Here you go, your upgraded gauntlet. Push module installed. So thank you much. What's the push module? You upgrade your gauntlet with a number of modules. One install gives you the strength of a blacksmith. It's strength, Pokemon strength. We can push away logs and loose rocks. Press the secondary action button to activate your currently selected module. You can hold that down to select a different one. Gotcha. Push this module in my backyard. Perhaps you can drop in with my neighbor Noah. I heard he has some trouble with a project of his. Something about a teleporter. Thanks. I'll go check it out. Check in with Noah as well. See ya. All right. Uh, F. Hold on. Okay, so we, we, we got it. Good. All right, so yeah, it just it pushes in and makes it roll, uh, roll clean in a line there. Plane spinner. 
Hello there. I'm assuming you're a fight. Oh. Okay. He's just, he's fine. He's not, he's not a problem. That other one was a problem. That one's not a problem, I guess. Okay. My neighbor Noah. I'm assuming, oh, well, hello. <laughs> Rito, it's me, Beth, from the local trainer hub. You're a trainer, right? Could I ask you for a small favor? Sure, what is it? A while ago, a passing trainer left a lot of swarmy in our care, but the, they became very aggressive, and then when they evolved into a beasel, they flew right out of our yard. Menace the village, I feel responsible. They even intrude on people's homes. Since you're the only trainer at the town, could you get rid of all six of them for me? Oh, my God. Okay, so it's a mini quest. We don't have to do it, but maybe now... Maybe now... I'm curious. Like, you just be, color me a curious... Curious boy. I want to see if we can fight this one now. And that was just like... They were just waiting, basically. Uh, whoop. For us to get the mini quest. Yep. How tough are ya? This would be a good way to, to grind up a little bit. Level 8. No joke. So Beazel is a normal type, isn't he? Standard. So yeah, we don't have any of that garbage. Uh let's do one mighty roar before we go for anything. Oh god, the venomous bees, we're gonna get poisoned after this. We take a little bit of damage, and then I think last time or last time we got poisoned on the second turn. Venom is be Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. Maybe it's just a percentage chance to be poisoned. No, we're poisoned now. We're poisoned now. Slam. Uh oh. Okay. Suffering from defects if it's poison. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to Mighty Roar once more. I thought we were going first. Uh. It's okay. We got the poison. We'll lower that, and then we'll switch out to another. That we'll hopefully be able to... We ate the dip fruit. It's kind of a waste. Because we are switching out. So, all right. With the attacks down, we have Justice Tom, who has the dip fruit as well. So, if we do get low... Get low, get low, get low. We'll have to, uh, won't have to worry as much. But we can, uh, we can and probably should go back to do a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Milestone achieved. Okay, so... What type is Justice Tom? Oh my god. What type are you? And you're, you're normal too! Oh no! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! I didn't think this, was, this son of a gun was going to be level freaking 8. I'm not going to throw out Justice Ta uh, Oh, God. We have, to make a, we have to make a call, I think. Wait. We can't use the spinner, right? We can't catch it. I'm pretty sure we can't. I guess, you know what, for the sake of curiosity... Yeah, I didn't think so. I could wait for him to maybe try a different attack. We'll see. I'm going to do this once because I'm curious. Can he run out of SP? Yeah, we got poison there. He can run out of SP. All right, there's a chance. But really, I'm, I'm thinking like, should we switch? Should we heal up more than awesome? How much SP does that move take? How much SP does our move take? Two. There's a double attack down. 
he probably can do like two more attacks if I were to take a wild guess in the dark. So we either have to sacrifice Justice Tom, switch over to the other, and hope that we don't die, but we probably would. So in reality, not knowing that we were going to get, uh, forgetting that this was, um, they're both normal. So in my head, I'm like, ah, I don't have to worry about the typing there. Uh, that's not something we got quizzed on. <laughs> takes more damage from poison skills. Uh, we have to make a decision here if we're going to sacrifice Justice Tom or our starter here, I think. I, this is this is the unfortunate truth, I think. Else we could swap into semicolon P. Sacrifice. We've not used you yet. Maybe you have a better defense. This is this is the last. This is the last maybe. Oh, there's a chance. There's actually a chance that you're fine. Feelers. I don't know that I go first. I probably, like, I almost certainly don't. Okay, please don't hit me with the poison now. All right. Slam. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, I got poisoned. But, but, in theory, in theory, this should be fine. Oh my god, he had to restore his SP! I'm stupid! We really need to... I, okay, so we should... Um, I wish that the SP and the HP were both shown at the exact same time there. But we're, we're going to be fine regardless. I guess maybe there's a chance we would have had a problem with the poison anyway, so it's probably a good idea. The slam shouldn't be as bad. Uh, okay, well, if it crits, it's going to be just as bad. Woo, Nelly! We've done it. We saved everybody. This should be huge, right? Semicolon P grew to level 6. Awakened some potential. Uh, so what is your... What is your general vibe here? Physical, physical... It's all, all physical. Okay, let's go with uh, a couple physical. Why is your special attack so high, then? Two in attack and one in, like... Let's, let's go with HP. Oh boy, Justice Tom got to level up as well. Fast strike unlock. Uh, oh, quick attack. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That's one. Not even freaking close, baby. <laughs> Definitely was not terrifying. Let's go, uh, let's go buy some cakes if we can. I think that would be a good idea. Also doing like a little bit of leveling up. I mean, now we know we can probably take on the B-Boy, and we'd be okay. Like, cause we're just, we're stronger than we were last time, assuming they were all level, whatever, six or something. Alright, let's, uh, let's buy six. We'll buy six. The frequency on that sound effect really should be changed. It's a little grating. I, I like, I like... A lot, but I don't like that. Okay, so let's uh, let's see here for a second. Just Tom. Let's see if we can get uh, just this Tom just to be a little just us Tom to be just a little stronger here. Oh, so the swarmy turns into the bees. How much power is this? 40. But it uses a little bit more energy. How much do we have overall? 20, 26 out of 22. What the heck? So we don't have to worry about this. We don't have to worry about it here. But I guess I'll go with this anyways. Get out of here. Brown. Oh, we can do one, two, three, four. Okay, good. All right. Swear me. Done. Get out of here. Screw ya. Unlocked. Uh, oh, no. I awakened some potential. Uh, some speed is going to be important, too. We're going to want to get some... Okay. And SP is going to be an interesting thing to have to balance and go for, too. Oh, this, there's a lot of uh, little itty-bitty variables here and there. Let's get, uh, instead of going back, we'll also check out some milestones, see what we get here. 
What do we get for that? What do we get? Oh, we got uh, two promotion bonuses. We got combi cakes. Combi cakes. Oh, they're the ones that did both. Like one of both. A thousand bucks. That's actually pretty huge. And then three heal spinners, which I can only imagine heals the Koromon that we catch. All right, let's uh, we'll fight one more here with uh, more than a silk will. And then we'll uh, we'll maybe fight another bee, and then see if we can maybe do something else. Again, you are, it's 40 is a special attack. You are a better special attacker than a uh, physical attacker, right? Can we see that here? Eh. I'm pretty confident that that was the case. Enemy deep. Ooh. Bye-bye, Silquill. It's just so... Uh, you're just so far and away better than the other Koromon we've got right now. Streamline. Streamlines his body, increasing speed by two stages. Okay. There's a world where that matters, I guess. Have a Koromon reach level 10? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, let's, let's heal up. Fight, uh, fight a bee again. <laughs> no danger whatsoever. Just the fact that they are strong against the normal types, and we have two of our two of our core minor normal types. What is this? Is this a? Is he a variant of some kind? He's potent. He's potent. So he's not at the perfect one, but he's potent, so he's stronger. Oh god. Rage. Oh god. He's setting up to sweep. Please do like half. Okay. Uh Venomous Bees. Is this a physical attack? I assume it is. Oh, that's not that's not a problem. That's not a problem. We're good. I don't think the Venomous Bees does as much damage as the other attack as much as Slam. Yeah, no way. Not at all. But it has the chance to do the poison, which I guess this robot was banking on. Woo! Huge. Huge! That's two. Bees will break out. There's another one there. That one's not potent. He ain't potent. All right. Just because, yeah, I want to, I want to make sure we have a little bit more of a balanced party here, uh, and I don't want to just go back to the healing center. I love this man. Oh, god dang it. Let me guess. It's something that's not a normal type too. Correct. God, I really wish we could have that. Good stuff. Whoa! I want this thing so bad. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. I can only catch one. Like, it literally in the game, I, I do not have the ability to catch that. One per zone. We're playing on, on the hardest difficulty. That is not only am I, is it a house rule, it is the rules entirely. Uh, hello. So we'll do this. Maybe we'll heal up, fight a bee, check out another zone. See if we can catch another uh, Koromon. But I, I would say we are, we're seeming to be s slightly under level. Why are you so much stronger than I? Don't, don't crit me. Okay. Dip fruit. Theoretically, we could stay in and be fine. But let's not get stupid. 
this should be okay. Like, just... Just... His <laughs> Tom... <laughs> should be, uh... You have a little bit more defense than, than Justice Tom as well, so... In addition to the fact that I think we would have been okay otherwise, anyways. Accuracy downgrade. Yeah, that sound effect too. Nice. Critical hit. I don't know that we needed it, but I'm happy to have it. Don't know that we needed it. Happy to have it. All right, level seven on Justice Tom. All right, good deal. Okay, well... I can't, like, I can't really fight the B with any of my main ones aside for my, like, starter. So let's, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go see if we can squeak on over to the next area where we could potentially catch a Koromon. And then we'll work from there. Which I think should be... Hello, B. Hi. This is why I decided to live here, being surrounded by beautiful nature instead of being in a busy city. <laughs> okay. City center. Hey, over here. I'm on the other side. I'm sorry. Parent is still teaching how to chop trees. I messed up and the tree fell the wrong way. If only someone was strong enough to push a G. G boy, howdy. Wow, thanks so much for that. Now the road is finally clear again. Better get back to parents for some more tree cutting practice. See ya. All right. Who's it gonna be? This should be a new zone. It is indeed. All right. Where is it? 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 The uh, lock slur. All righty. Fingers crossed. Give me a potent. Give me a potent. Give me a perfect. Give me a potent. Give me a perfect. Oh, he's cute. Please don't tell me you're another normal type. Buzzlet. You look like an electric type. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Are you weak? What are you weak to? Ooh. This shouldn't one shot. It definitely didn't. Toughen up. What is that? Oh, defense. Thank you. Nice. 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 Go for a chomp. Get you down a little bit more there. Slam. Thank you. Wait. Okay. You might not even have... Um, you might not even have what you need. Plane spinner. Uh, better at normal types. Sure. Come on, baby. Give me a buzzlet, baby. Oh, let's go. Thank God. Yes. Hello there, friend. Yeah, you only know slam and toughen up. He's an electric type, but he doesn't know an electric type move yet. Uh, attackers making contact have a 50% chance to get shocked. That is pretty nice. And this is gonna be... There it is. Bud Nelson. Good old Bud Nelson. Welcome to the team. We get a little bit of capture uh, experience. And gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. I'm just happy to have a second type on my team. That's a hit to me. We can just drag that. That's nice. All right. Without fighting a trainer, I want to check out... Uh, check out Buzz... Whoa. Silquil and Silquil. What? I know that they have cut skills. Oh my god. I was not expecting a double team. <laughs> But yeah, we're, we're weak to claw types, and I know that they have claw type. The claw type attack. Okay, the good news is they're level 4 and a level 3, so it's not going to be as bad. Not going to be as bad, but boy, I was not anticipating that. Who nail it! One shot. One shot, Bob. One shot, Bob. Let's go. Okay, that's fine. 
Bud Nelson, sh yeah, Bud Nelson should earn a little bit, anyways. Uh, I'm assuming you're a special attacker. Special, physical, special, special, special. You are a special attacker. Let's go with that. And two for health. All righty. You are nothing beneath me. We should one-shot this one, too, right? Because the other one was a level four. All right. Good deal. Yeah, that was not, was, uh, not what I was anticipating. Oh, okay. Only one, please. Wait, can we catch this? Potent. I don't know if we can catch you. We can catch perfect. I don't know if we can catch potents. We're going to need to heal after this here. Hopefully that potent one does not absolutely wreck me. But, oh, that's so much. I love the colors on that one a lot. might be better off doing this. Actually, we're probably not going to one-shot, are we? At the level 5 with 20 HP? Yeah, not quite. Pocket Sand, we, we'll take it. We'll take it. Accuracy decrease is a little concerning. My special attack has gone up, though. Okay. Alright, we should be fine. Please don't miss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't crit. Don't crit. We should be fine regardless, but please don't crit. Okay. All right, we're, it's okay. We're, we're doing this on purpose. Please let me please let me catch this potent. I don't know what the... There's a house... Like, a, not a house rule. There's a rule in the game, and I can't remember which one it is. If it's potent and up, or if it's only the perfects. Please don't miss. Thank you. We'll find out. My special attack went up. Heck. All right. So yeah, we can't catch these potent ones. We can only catch the uh, the ultimate rare ones. But the good news is, it looks like the pot potent is not that uh, not that uncommon, anyways. <laughs> it seems seems to be the case. All right, but Nelson, you gonna level up? Thank you very much. There it is, Lightning Strike. Good stuff. That's what I was hoping for. Jolt of Lightning hits the target, dealing damage, and depletes SP. Hey, that's a neat little bonus effect to it. Why not? Why not? I want to leave. I want to leave. Yeah, you would think that the uh, the electric attacks would be good against the, uh, the Boids, but I'm not sure that it is. All right, Bud Nelson. This is for you, baby. This is for you. But again, I'm just super happy to get something that's a different type. And I want to get the bees because they're, uh, they're, I think they're just like a good set of experience for us here. How much? Well, that's like a punch. Whoa, okay. I mean, I know we're level eight and it's level four, but dang, this is better than I anticipated. I think we're going to, let's, uh, let's, Heal up, then send Bud Nelson against the against one of the bees. It's not going to be doing, uh, not going to be doing extra damage or anything like that. No super effective, no nothing. I think it's worth it regardless. All right, go murder the bees. Pest control. Here we go. Hello, is this your friend? Too bad. Hey, leave my Buzzy alone. Oh. Wait, how many were there? There was six, wasn't there? Okay, there's one here. There's the one over in that other spot, too. This one's in front of a chest. It ain't no potent one, at the very least. Level eight. Please be level eight. Okay, I think we can... 
I think we can make that happen without switching out. Slam. Jesus. All right, is this like paralysis in pocket monsters? As long as you don't crit, baby. Let's go. Yes. I shouldn't have risked it. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's a lot of experience, too, for Bud Nelson. And it's a, he's like a bug type kind of looking thing. A lot of times in uh, in other monster collecting games, they frequently phoenix shard. Revive a Coromon and restore half of its HP. Uh, I think that that does not work in this mode, though. Dally fruit. Okay. I kind of, yeah, I kind of want to heal, or I kind of want to grind up and buff up Bud Nelson here. And while, while everything is in town here, I feel like there's little stopping me or little reason to not just heal up in between the uh, those fights. Because this is early on, and that will pivot, like, it'll pivotally change everything. What's your deal? You're... This town is still up and coming. There's no Coromon storage or shop for trainers yet. Luckily, the Lux Souls campus nearby. And once Nor Noah's teleporter is online, we can travel there instantly. We do need to do that, too. Beagle, beagle. So let's do this Beazle, and then we'll check out the teleporter situation. Alrighty. We took out the other one, no problem. That was level 8, so this should be not too big of a deal, one would think. Venomous Bees. I'm less concerned about. Unless we get... Like, critical slammed. Ooh! We actually did half the HP now. No, we're fine. Yeah, that one level made a big difference. No! We did 23 to, we did 23 to 24. Alright, well, the good news is we should be able to slam. Don't you, don't you crit me. So that other thing must not be a physical move. Or it doesn't make physical contact. One of the two. Nice. Nice. I'm excited to see our first evolution. And I wouldn't be shocked if... Got one here. It's four. Nope. All right. No, his teleporter will be operational soon. Okay. Just because I'm very worried that I will just entirely forget to do this, and then I'll go into combat and we'll lose Bud Nelson immediately. Let's do this, and then we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of the old main... I think it's the main quest. If not, it's uh, the thing that'll let us unlock the teleporter, which seems very important as well. Ah, my delivery. What delivery? Oh, I thought you were someone else for a moment. Sorry about that. My name is Noah. I'm working on teleporting to connect Hayville for the fast travel network of Valua. So waiting for the last few parts. I need to complete the teleporter. I've ordered them from Luxor's campus a while back. The package should have arrived by now. Perhaps you're willing to help. Could you find out what's keeping my package? Sure, I'll help. Great, I ordered the parts from the market at Luxo's Campus. Perhaps you could start there. I'll be in my workshop. We're kind of the final calibration. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, okay. Well, then, fine. Well, then, fine. Okay. Um... All right, so we're looking for a couple more bees. Right? Let's just get them while they're young. Kill, get those ones before they uh, they they attack. So there's obviously this beehive thing there, but I guess that's not I guess that's not anything. There's one. I shall destroy you. Ba 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 da da da. We level up again, so now if we don't if we don't two shot Bop, I'm gonna be confused. So we, we have a 50% chance to... Uh, maybe... Maybe it's always... It always does 24 now? Nice. Maybe that's what happened. It went from 23 to 24 to 24 always. Always. Yeah. We'll make you like a defensive wall in addition. Level 11, let's get it. Da, 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 da. 
Okay, let's, uh, you know what we can do? We can just drop in braid. Where is this final one? What? Oh, can we get, go up through here? I just thought there was a chance that there's some, something special back there. Wait, they said it's been, they've been going into homes too, haven't they? Said they've been going, they've been getting to the point where they're going into people's homes. I don't know if that's actually happened or not. Where the heck, did I see one in one of the buildings? I don't think so. Hmm. Huh. Was there one in the library? Is there one on the ba the bee ball court? I mean, this isn't even someone's home. It's a dang library. Uh, is this is this one really not it? Is there some? Beagle, beagle. Wait, trade my buzzy for it. Wait, what? Hold on. Because of this, oh hey, quests that require you to trade a clock hormone will not ta count towards your total collection. A minnow. So we, it's something we can do. If the stars align, it seems like. I, so that's that's nice. I like that idea. I like that idea. Am I am I mistaken on this quest? Can we can it be out somewhere else? One more. One more bezel. It's not gonna be that one, is it? That'd be that'd be silly. And it has nothing to do with this. I'm mashing. I see nothing there. Was it up there? Past that? Past that other thing somewhere? There's nothing we can really do here. I mean, maybe it's outside the city, but I feel like if they, they say it's around Hayvale, and then they're like, "Well, when we said around, we really meant around." Then I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be miffed. Like it's actually outside Hayvale entirely. And that, I feel like it was a mislead a bit to say that, uh, they are going into people's houses if there's none in people's houses. Okay, what's your deal? Oh, hey. Chopping trees with that sermon one? Should have thought of that sooner. Alright. I think we're out of luck, man. I don't know, uh, I don't know where that last one is. If it's not that one, the one that belongs to that man. Can I just, like, attack his pet anyways? All right, so the last thing I'll do, one, I'll check one more time. And then we'll move to the outside here. Is this a fight that we didn't do? No, okay. All right. I haven't a freaking clue, but hey, there we go. Toxic scent, protein scent, charged scent? What? What are those? Repels Koromon weaker than your squad member. Attracts Koromon with a higher level for three minutes. That's an interesting idea. Call it a Lux Solus Campus. We could do that for our quest. All right, I think we I think we got everything that we were going to do there. But you know what I want to do? I want to get Justice Tom to not be so far behind here. So we'll we'll do a couple fights there. We'll move up and maybe uh yeah, I don't know which which thing we'll do next time. I'm not sure. There's a couple there's a couple options for sure. We can go for the campus, we can go look for the final Bezel. Oh yeah, you guys are very low level. You are very low level. Get out of here. Get out of here! Oops, one. Here we go. Get out of here! This is probably not going to be the place to grind. 
Ugh. It's not gonna be a place to grind, really. All right. I, like, I wanted it easy enough to, to handle, but I wanted it to give me some experience still. So that, that's just, it's probably not the way to go. I guess either farming uh, for justice time here or out in the forest would probably be the way to go. What do you have to say? Love gardening, especially growing fruits. These growing pots from Luxolos make my hobby so much easier. You can find them everywhere and anyone can use them. Plant a fruit, you see empty pot. In return, you can harvest a fully. Yeah, okay. You don't even have to water the plant. The future is here. Beautiful. All right, I'll, I'll check right here to see if one of the beezles happened to be out here and that counted. I'll tell you what, let's... Let's do one fight. One more fight. And then we'll figure it out. Ah, oh, hey, buddy. I love this guy. We're not weak to sand, are we? All right, if you kill me. If you kill me, I, I, I'll be honest, I can't be that mad because you are very... Okay, that was a crit. All right, all right, all right. Theoretically, we shouldn't have to be in too much danger then. Do we even need to do a, a cake? Probably not. Four, six... No, I think we would have been okay because we would have fast strike. We would go first, and then we would definitely go first the next time as well. But dang, if it would have been another crit, we would have been dead for sure. We would have definitely died. If it was a non-crit, then there was just a chance. That ain't even a level, man. It ain't even a level. All right, fine, fine, fine. We'll put a pin in it and we'll come back. We'll come back tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, as mentioned, I don't know how long we're going to do this. I don't know if we're going to finish up the demo. We One, we might we might have a full team wipe on somebody. First time we fight a boss or something, we genuinely might have a full team wipe. I don't know, man. This is just what we're going to be doing for right now. We'll, we'll do a, a couple more episodes at the very least. If you guys are excited, we'll keep on going throughout the demo. But that is up to you guys. Whatever you think, let me know. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Indies every day. Extra specialty on roguelikes and other hardcore games like a Nuzlocke kind of a game as well. Thank you, thank you. Like and comment. Seriously, genuinely, it makes a difference. It really does. See you next time. Bye.